Here's the other one of this sort that's rather familiar. Uh, we'll do two more uh, cases. This is uh, on books. So the ISBN, uh, which changed, it was the old ISBN used 10 numbers, the new one uses 13. Similar type of structure, it's going to be barcode red. Uh, you've got a, a first number here, uh, 9, uh, which tells you something about the region, the publishing group, um, the publisher, the title of the book, and then the last digit at the end is the check digit. The curiosity about the old ISBN uh, is that sometimes you find the letter X on the end. So what happens here is that uh, you end up carrying the same operation out, you multiply each digit in the number by its position from the right. So this one is first from the right, this is second, this is third, this is fourth. You multiply them by one, two, three, four, add it all together and <coughs> divide by 11. Okay. So it must be divisible by 11 to be a valid ISBN, but dividing by 11 means that you could have a remainder of 10 here. Uh, and because of that, you sometimes see an X. So X, Roman 10, is used to denote uh, uh, the 10. So for this number here, uh, if we divide by this, uh, if we divide this by 10, uh, what we end up with, the, so the sum is 199 plus x, uh, and so if x was equal to 10, it would be 209, which is divisible by 11. Well, this is a bit laborious, uh, and a few years ago, uh, most books then changed to a different system, uh, where they use 13 numbers, uh, but even numbered digits in the number uh, are multiplied by 3, uh, so not the odd ones. So it's like the UPC, multiply by 3 on the even digits, UPC multiplied by 3 on the odd ones, and the check digit is just the number that you need to make the answer divisible by 10. So it's very much like the UPC, but it operates on the even numbers instead of the odd numbers.